I dedicate this short video clip to Pat Warner, a router expert in California. A lot of my woodworking skills came from Pat Warner. This video demonstrates one of his tips. Since the uh, top and bottom are going to be approximately uh, 18 by uh, 26, I'm going to tongue and groove two boards together and try and get the uh, greens to match at the edge as close as we can. This technique can be used for any size of uh, a tabletop. I did the same technique in making a vanity top and the desktop. This is a, a pretty easy procedure, but it allows you to perfectly align the tongue and groove so that the boards will be flat when you're finished. First, uh, we cut the uh, tongue on one board, and you can use either a straight router bit with the fence or a rabbiting bit to do this, and you just turn the board over and make the same uh, depth on each side to give a tongue that it's exactly centered. Okay we now have the uh, tongue cut on, on this board with approximately a half inch uh, tongue left and now I'm going to turn it over and line up. You'll notice I have a slot cutter here so I'm going to line up the uh, bottom of uh, with the slot cutter. Okay, now we have the slot cutter aligned to uh, make the, the groove in uh, the other board and we uh, take a, a one pass with the slot cutter and uh, and then we just turn the board over and take another pass so that we have a center groove that will fit the tongue. Well, uh, as you can see, we got the uh, tongue and groove uh, made so that it would fit snugly. Uh, I put clamps underneath it, uh, the Bessie K-body clamps that uh, I pushed down on the, the uh, clamp. Uh, the wood so that it uh, sits flush and then tighten it up on each end and I put one on top to uh, put some weight on it and also to uh, put the center on and I think as you can see we got we got a pretty nice joint through here we'll have to do a little uh, sanding uh, of the uh, glue squeeze out but once we're done we'll have a, a pretty nice looking uh, uh, solid wood top Well, as you can see, we have on the right uh, the oak that is uh, kind of tongue and groove together, and then we have a sheet of plywood with a real thin uh, veneer on the uh, outside, and I think you can tell the uh, tremendous difference of real wood versus plywood, and I'm much happier that we decided to do that. For more woodworking techniques, please visit www.provenwoodworking.com.